All right, let's explore some more fun projects with Arduino. What you're seeing here, the Arduino is off the camera um, below the image. What you see here in the uh, upper right corner is an I2C L serial LCD display. This is a voltmeter. This is one of the little miniature voltmeters that's quite useful for these boards. Over here is a board I constructed. It consists of two parts. We're only going to look at one of the parts right now. And we're using the Arduino pulse width modulation, converting that to an analog voltage, and it becomes basically a power supply. Your voltage output should track a value that's um, written to your analog right of 0 to 255. How this works is as follows. This pot here is a, it controls the uh, value written to the pulse width modulation. It's a 0 through 1023. It's divided by 4. The pulse width modulation in Arduino is 8 bit. So that's why it had to be divided by 4. But I can go from a value of zero on the LCD display to zero volts and I can crank it up at 255 and get 10 volts. This is set the output voltage not only is this a D to A converter it also um, amplifies the voltage and has a power transistor output I can drive a motor or any number of things and either though it's in the manual mode here, uh, it can be it can be uh, programmed to do automatic. Now, if you look at the way if it's properly calibrated, let's go over here to at 64, at approximately 64, 65. We should have around 2.5 volts. Makes sense. We're at a 25% duty cycle. 25% of 255 is around 63, 64. 25% of 10 is 2.5. If we go to about 127, 128, we are, of course, at 5 volts. Let's move that. We are at 5 volts. Of course, if I go all the way to 255, I'm going to go to my full 10 volts. How do I set the output voltage? This pot here just runs through this board to an Arduino analog to digital in. Set your control for a pot value of 255 all the way on this second pot. This uses an LM358 for the uh, process. As I set at 255 my maximum output voltage. Now what if I wanted to uh, mess, let's just adjust it for 8 volts just for argument's sake. Okay 255 equals 8 volts. Move that around a bit. So that means we should have 4 volts probably around 127 and there's going to be some differences. It'll vary just a little bit by your power supply. Let's go to... one twenty-seven, one twenty-eight. boom, there's your 5, there is your 4 volts. If I go to 64, I should have approximately 2.5. Or 2 volts in this case. And there we are, two volts at two volts at around 64 from the pot value. Get that's the idea. What can I use this for? We'll be looking at it more, but I set my output voltage by the duty cycle on my pulse width modulation, in this case digital pin 11, based on this pot here that's sort of off to the top. And this other pot in the circuit that I will supply the schematic for, you set your maximum point. 
and then it divides right down like you saw. All right, let's move on and look at some more stuff in some other videos. Here's the diagram of the pulse width modulation to voltage converter connected to digital pin 11 of our Arduino. I'm using a 10K pot connected to analog zero and all I'm simply doing is reading a value from a 0 to 1023, dividing it by 4, and using that to control the 8-bit pulse width modulation out of the Arduino. Note that this circuit is connected to 12 volts. If I connected it to 5 volts, I would only get 0 to about 3.6. That's just the way the LM358 is constructed you would have to use at least 7 volts to get up to the full 5 volts. Here I have taken the other half of the LM358 and using it as a voltage amplifier. Here I have my low pass filter that will go from 0 to 5 volts. I still have my voltage follower, but pin the output of the voltage follower goes into the non-inverting input of uh, the LM358B. If you notice over here, the output on pin 7 is fed back through a 10K pot to uh, the non-inverting input where a 10K resistor goes to ground. Our formula for gain is 1 plus R2 divided by R1. If I adjust R 2 all the way to 0 and divide by 10k, well it's still going to be 0 and I'll get 5 volts out. Um, this is how I was able to adjust the output voltage in the video. So what I would need to do is adjust my uh, pulse width modulation for 100% from the Arduino. I would have 5 volts here and then like I did in the video if I needed 8 volts I would adjust this for 8 volts output. The max here is going to be 10 volts as I showed in the video because um, 10k divided by 10k is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. The gain is 1 to 2 or anywhere in between. Here is a brief look of the program that I used to accomplish what you saw in the video. You're going to have to use the wire.h library because the uh, liquid crystal display is an I2C device and you will need the liquid crystal I2C.h library whose address is set to hexadecimal 27 and is set up for two lines by 16 characters uh, numbered from 0 to 15. This statement right here sets up your LCD display. This declares my pot value that I'm using to read the analog to digital converter. This initializes the LCD and this turns on the backlight. Here is the rest of it. This is loop. I'm going to read the pot value um, which is going to be an analog read of 0. Then I'm going to divide it by 4. Then I'm going to do an analog write, that is the uh, to pin 11 pot value. That sets up my pulse width modulation duty cycle. Zero is a duty cycle of 0%. 255 is 100%. Okay, then I, as you saw in the LCD display, I'll go ahead and print out the pot value. And then I'll set the cursor back to, a to here. LCD.set cursor sets the, uh, the uh, pointer there. Then I'm going to print the pot value. That's what I got from back up here. And then I'm going to go LCD home. And as you saw on the voltmeter, the uh, pot value corresponded to a particular voltage out as I adjusted the pot on the LM358. All right, in this slide, I went ahead and connected the 5 volts from the pulse width modulation output from the Arduino directly into the LM358 and went ahead and configured it as an amplifier. 
In this case, though, I still use my 10K resistor to ground, but I change my feedback pot uh, to 50K, and that's going to give me a gain from 1 to 6. Now, this time, the power to the uh, LM358 is tied to 24 volts. And I have also, on the output on pin 1, I have inserted a um, current pass transistor. What this does, by adjusting the uh, pot to 10K, what I would do is adjust the 10K pot back here for 5 volts out at test point 1. Then I would adjust R2 for my maximum output that I want at um, V out. Then uh, what I have here is an Arduino controlled variable power supply that can produce enough current through this TIP41 or similar NPN pass transistor that you can run a motor or lights or whatever. And this has some other uses I'll go over in, in other videos. But what you have here is an Arduino based 0 to say 20 volt power supply, variable type. And that should complete this introduction to digital to analog conversion using Arduino. I hope this was useful to you. Catch my other videos on the related subjects. And be sure to visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.